Today we are going to be riding my friend Dan's new 2022 Trek Top Fuel 8 at Glacier Ridge. I've heard so many good things about this new iteration of the Top Fuel, so I was pretty excited to jump on one. Trek seems to have gone full down country with this bike and made some key changes from the previous XC oriented model. The bike I am riding today is a bit of a custom build, but I'll go over what typically comes on a stock Top Fuel 8. This is a size medium large which fits me well at 5'11". The frame features several Trek technologies such as the minnow link to offer adjustable geometry, the active braking pivot linkage design, knock block 2.0 and finally internal frame storage on an aluminum frame which is pretty rare. The notable geometry figures include a 66 degree head tube angle, 76 degree seat tube angle, a 1198mm wheelbase and a 465mm reach. The stock Top Fuel 8 is specced with a 120mm RockShox SID fork, a RockShox Deluxe Ultimate Shock that delivers 120mm of 29er travel, Bond Trigger Line Comp 30 wheels, 2.4 Bond Trigger XR4 tires, a Shimano SLX XT mix, Shimano 6000 series 4 piston brakes, a 780mm bar paired with a 45mm stem to round out the cockpit. Now I've ridden these trails countless times and on the new top fuel it felt almost like a new trail system. I immediately felt the pedaling efficiency from the suspension kinematics but also due to the upright seated position. On the descents the top fuel feels stiff and responsive. It isn't particularly supple but man it makes it fun to jump off everything and that's what made it so enjoyable to ride. The efficient pedaling platform saves you energy so you can pop off of every bump in the trail and that's how I like to ride. Honestly, I was blown away by how this bike can tear up fast, low elevation, flowy trails like we have on Long Island. I already mentioned that this isn't my bike, so Dan told me about some little quirks that he had experienced in the month or two that he's been riding the top fuel. One issue he had was the rear axle kept backing out on him, so he had to put some Loctite on it and it seems to be fine now. He also ended up cutting his hand one time on the dropper lever. One of the metal edges was actually sharp. Other than that, he didn't have much to report. Overall, I loved riding the new Top Fuel. This is the first downcountry style of bike that I've ridden and I think this is the type of bike for most people. It is rewarding on the ups and still gives confidence on the downs. It retains a lively nature, making tamer trails exciting. And of course if you have the money to go higher spec, this bike could be super light and super fast. It's a great trail bike for people with little elevation and smooth flowy trails where the bonus lines aren't crazy if you want to go for them. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to drop them in the comments, and I'll have a link to this bike in the description if you want to check out more details about the Top Fuel 8. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this video, and remember, stay venture, my friends.